Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, this time me and my best friend went back to Leuven for a little shopping trip. The first shop we did was a charity shop. We didn't visit this one last time because I didn't know there could be some manga here. So we visit ours. Here, unfortunately, there wasn't manga but there were a lot, a lot of gorgeous art books from various kinds. And uh, they were all great prices, so I was really, really tempted to pick some up. But we were on a manga shopping trip, so I have to be strong. So the first manga shop that we visited after was fan favorite Manga Mania. So inside, again, we see a lot of cute, cute plushies uh, from Boba T, from Hello Kitty merch, to cinnamon rolls, to other cute cute plushies and some more um, organizing and stationary things this little plushie i almost got it because it was way too adorable but i need to stay strong no art books no plushies only manga okay okay stay strong all right we do have some gorgeous figurines though in this glass figurine but they were really expensive they were worth a coin, don't get me wrong, but so expensive. And then I got distracted because I saw all this beautiful kitchenware. And again, I needed to focus. We were here for manga. And then I saw all these backpacks from Disney. So cute. The Marie one was something that I was tempted about. But again, I need to stay strong. Pochita figure. This is a Kaisen figure. So we do have little Anya here. Absolutely cute, adorable guts. You could see him here. We do have some more plushies. Random Pepega Pig and Bambi here. <laughs> but we stayed strong. We are at the manga section. We do immediately see Fruits Basket. We do see some volumes of Banana Fish. The girl from the other side. Beautiful hardcover. We have Blackbird. We have Blue Box. Then we do have some Star Wars merch, but at the bottom here we do see Vagabond Omnis. Uh, we do see Death Note. We saw Watergoy, which I have recently read and I did enjoy it, but it took me some time to get into. We have Goodnight Poon Poon. At the top there we see Villain Saga, gorgeous edition. We saw some box sets, we see Cells at Work, some Demon Slayer volumes. Fire Force Hard Gear, I read volume 1 and really enjoyed it. I actually do need to pick up more volumes, they come out so quickly. And uh, I really enjoyed the story, so I do want to continue that. King of Limbo is something I heard great things about as well. But here we have our little goodie bag and we needed a little snack now. Little break with a great view. It was super hot. <laughs> it already started dripping when I sat down. It was so hot outside. There was a heat wave going on, so we really needed to hydrate. And then we could continue a little manga hunting journey. Here we are in Goblin Strips. We know at the back here we do have a big manga section. And last time we did find something rare, so I'm hoping this time I can snack something rare again. And my little eye does see something rare in the corner. We see something, but I'm not going to tell you yet. We do have some um, Nagima, which is considered pretty rare. But I'm not really that into it right now. I don't know what it's about and I've been collecting enough series for now. So that one is not on my mind yet. We do have Shaman King Omnis, some 7 Deadly Sins. They had a lot of volumes for these. And of course we do have Slam Dunk, which is a fan, a fan favorite. Um, I've been really wanting to pick it up too, but again, as I said, I've been collecting so many series, I cannot get them all at once. But I know some volumes have been out of stock for so long from Slam Dunk. Recently had a reprint, so maybe I should prioritize it for now. It's on my mind. I'm considering it. We do have Goodnight Poon Poon here, which um, I really do want because I know something that will leave me um, 
existentially questioned for a while is something <laughs> I would really enjoy. Hunter Hunter, I will pick up at another date because the omnibuses will come out and I hope those are uh, beautiful like the Japanese editions. We do see a lot less volumes of case clothes than we saw last time. So I think someone had a great haul here. <laughs> uh, we do see Buddha from Osama Tezuka. I have the box set which I really enjoy. But great story overall. And then we go to uh, the Slotterland, the next yellow bookstore <laughs> that we also visited last time. Again, in the back, they have some manga here. They have some to advertise. Cat Eyed Boy, absolutely beautiful. And in the back, we see a lot of manga. Tall bookcases. We always see Girl from the Other Side. I saw some Dr. Slump. But not the volumes I needed. They had 13 and 15 and I needed 16 and 18 of course. So uh, I saw the title. I was like, oh, could it be? But unfortunately not. We do see some Snow White with red hair. But I got something else you'll see in my haul. Last but not least, we stopped at Akiba. There was a sale going on. Three manga get one for free. So, as we see all the cinnamon rolls, we got ourselves a little basket. <laughs> I am looking for a shoujo beat series. Um, I have been in a shoujo beat kind of mood lately. Uh, so that was my main goal for this shopping trip. All these snacks are so tempting. A lot of them are absolutely delicious. As we see this gorgeous, gorgeous cinnamon roll here, it's so fluffy, it's so adorable. I want to take it home. But again, I need to stay strong. It's a manga shopping trip. I do not have the budget for any plushies or any merch. As we do see some Genshin Impact merch here. Some Hilly Churl plushies. Love that. Um, it's a game I've enjoyed on and off uh, for the past few years. All of the Hoyaverse games actually something really nice in between. But back to the merch. We do see... Cute tissue boxes. I've never seen merch like that. It's adorable. And some Spy Family and uh, Juicy Guys and plushies. Again, this Snorlax is absolutely fluffy. I live for that. I want it. I can't. Some more cinnamon roll you see there. <laughs> and some Hello Kitty. <laughs> Love that. Um, but here we have the famous Gacha Pons with a lot of Genshin Impact merch inside. I considered these scrunchies, but I wanted to collect manga first and spoiler alert, afterwards I totally forgot about them, so I didn't get one of the scrunchies. Oh well, that happens. But as I said, I am on a shoujo beat hunt and there we have the first volume that I'm eyeing. It has a yellow corner, surprise, surprise. And uh, it intrigues me. I've seen a lot of people from the manga Discord talking about it. It's a new series, volume 1. So that one is going home with me. Alright. I immediately see the fable, which is something in yellow that caught my eye. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about it. It's a new licensed series. And um, it should have been great. So I will definitely pick that one up. Not sure if I will pick it up now or later. We do see almost a complete set of Barefoot Gen hardcovers if you are interested in that. I do see a very old volume of uh, Yurusei Yatsura as well as some rare um, volumes from Yoamushi Paddle and Prison School. So some rare finds but again... Uh, I don't have that much budget for series that I'm not collecting yet. New York, New York is um, very popular as well. We have um, The Summer, Hikaru Died. I have volume 1, really enjoyed it. So seeing later volumes make me consider taking more. Given a volume 8, don't have 8 yet, but I also don't have 7 yet, so that would leave a gap and I'm not sure if that's the right move for now because I want something to read 
At the top we do see the orange box set which I considered as well because I think it would be right up my alley. As you can see here, these few shells is the little pride corner they have go going on. Um, I have looking at it twice because I'm actually <laughs> searching for Fangs Volume 2. I really want it. I really enjoyed picking up Volume 1 here last time. Really loved the series. Volume 3 actually got announced recently. I think it comes out in end September, begin October. So stay tuned for that. We do have Bloody Sweet here, Volume 2. Really enjoyed that one. In October, the last volume, Volume 4, will come out as well. As we see Fangs Volume 1 here, which I mentioned before. Really great. And uh, we do see Jungle Juice. Sailor Moon Eternal Editions, very gorgeous. I have the full set as well, um, which really recommend it for some Jojo enthusiasts. Here we do have the missing volume 4 of Darfur Gen, which we saw earlier. Do have volume 2 of Area for the ones of um, we are collecting it, who are looking for it, because I think that one is severely out of print as well. Likewise, as the Beth with Jen uh, hard covers. So here and there, if you keep your eye on it, you will see some rare volumes pop up in these stores, even in Little Belgium. Uh, yeah, this is the big sale section. So on top of their 3 plus 1 sale, they have this one shelf, which is 7 euro per volume. This counts as well for those rare volumes. So that Aria volume, that Beth with Jen volume, 7 euro for that and those uh, omnibuses slaying on the bottom as well so i think if you are looking for any of these by any chance that is the biggest deal you can get if you include those in your 3 plus 1 as well it's even cheaper so uh yeah i think you can make some great deals here as we see solo leveling again i had volume 1 really enjoyed it so interested in more and see some more manhua but i should uh, read the synopsis uh, further to see um, if i will be investing into those because manhua as you know because it's full color editions um, pages are really heavy they are more expensive because they are higher quality so before investing into that i have to be really sure that i enjoyed just like bloody sweet for example, really worth my coin. <laughs> Definitely invest in that. We do see Twas at Wonderland here. One new volume came out, volume 4. But unfortunately, they didn't have it yet. Otherwise, it would have been in my basket immediately. We do love some Junji Ito here. Um, we see Tokyo Babylon, volume 1. But I need volume 3 and 4. <laughs> So that's a trend that you will see. Here we also do see Bright Story, a random volume. Really fan of Karo Mori. I have hunted down every volume in English there is to have from her works, as well as volume 2 of Shirley in French, because that doesn't even have an English release and I wanted to complete the set. But we are back home. We did fill our basket, but I want to keep it as a surprise. Say hello to Tinky. <laughs> Uh, for our little haul right here, you did have some little sneak peek for one of the four volumes that I picked up. But before we get into that, thank you wants a little bit of attention and wants to be bright with wet food. As you can see, she knocks over her milk plate, so I immediately put on my bags. Look at the little manis. <laughs> And here we are, after successfully bribing Tinky with some wet food, we can start our um, little haul with what we got doing this shopping trip. All right, so. So in Manga Mania, my best friend was uh, lovely enough to split up her order. She had one figurine and one manga, and that manga was for 20 euro. And with every 20 euro, you would get a goodie bag, as you can see right here. So here you can see the goodie bag. 
So she let me uh, get her manga volume so that um, the goodie bag wasn't wasted on me. So let's all say thank you, Mini, in the chat because thanks to her, we have some goodie bag unboxing to do. So, of course, I gave her manga back, um, obviously, so that won't be part of this haul. But we do have the little goodie bag. So, what's in this? Let's just turn it out. When you do a little haul of 20 euro, this was the goodie bag only today that you would get here. Let's come back down again. So what we did, did we get? Of course, a little sticker from their shop. We got a little bubble gum, um, Hello Kitty chewing gum. That was the word I was looking for. We got some Pokemon little chocolates. Always love that. We got a trading card um, from Union Arena. I have never heard of it, but hey, oh, him I do now. It's Genist from um, My Hero Academia. So that's a little goodie to have. We have some of that popping candy that goes. So we love that as well. Not really my thing, I think, but can make someone happy here right we got a little stick oh that is adorable we love that we love ourselves some little stickers we got these pokey sticks strawberry is my favorite flavor in these so i really like that we got an adorable um pokemon inspired pen but last but not least, what makes this goodie bag absolutely worth it is we got a little uh, gacha box from Demon Slayer. So these are the figurines we can get. All of these. So I think these two are the special ones, I think. What do we want? Um, let's see. I think I would prefer the Nezuko one. Yeah, I think I would prefer the Nezuko one from this, the regular one, actually. So, let's see what we got. Alright, we got the plastic off and we can just open them like this we got even more tension right <laughs> let's see what we got And we got Inosuke. <laughs> Nonetheless, I think he is an absolute menace. So I love them. And I think these are actually great quality if I look at them. See here. For these little gacha boxes. Yeah, look at the painting job. I think it's done really well. So I think I'm really happy with this Inosuke. <laughs> Wouldn't have expected him, but he is an absolute a menace to society. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of memes going around where they say, okay, so Demon Slayer, regular story, uh, how it is, then fighting uh, Muzan, and then after him, that's how much the story continues once they do. <laughs> and then they say, okay, if Inosuke had a gun, Fighting Muzang would be like this, and then getting the gun away from Inosuke would be like this. <laughs> so, yeah, I love those memes. I'll insert it right here. So, yeah, I think uh, he's a funny character, and um, I think this goodie bag was actually really, really worth it, especially when we include a little figurine like this. 
And so let's move on to the actual manga that we got. So first of all, in the first store we saw We got an actual rare volume. We got Sandlands from Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and of course, Dr. Slump. So I haven't seen this one going around. I may be wrong, but I haven't seen this in a really long time. So I thought seeing this one, um, that would be my pickup for today to um, complete. Well, not really complete because I still have some to go, but to add to my little Akira Toriyama shrine that I have going on, as you can see right here. So, uh, yeah, that was the first shop. In the second shop, I also got one volume. But nonetheless, still worth it. Is anyone surprised that it's yellow? At least I am not. <laughs> we have Banana Fish Volume 1. It's a Shoujo Beat series that I've been really wanting to pick up. But of course, you cannot pick them up all at once. And seeing them in store, Volume 1, I was like, okay, now it's the time. Then in the last shop, which was Akiba, Akiba came and clutched. There was three volumes, get one free, little action going on. So of course we got four manga there. And what did we get? We got Jungle Juice Volume 1. It's a manhwa, full colored, so... A little bit heavier, of course, a little bit more expensive because of that. So, been wanting to pick it up, but I've been always been pushing it back for other series. And when I was there, I was like, okay, now it's the time for this one. We also have Momo the Blood Taker Volume 3. I think the last volume came out uh, very recently, or maybe in a little bit now, very recently. So I've been really enjoying uh, the first volume, sorry, first two volumes. Uh, so I thought, okay, picking up volume three and four will be worth it to go on. I think the covers as well are absolutely divine for this one. Really great artwork. You can see the spines as well. Absolutely gorgeous, really well done. And the story, I think, is a uh, very enjoyable read. So here we go. We have a little bookmark. Very cute. From Akiba. And last one. A new, sh a new license from Shoujo Beats in English. We have Let's Do It Already. I have seen uh, many people in the manga Discord raving about this. So I thought, all right. Let's pick this one up as our fourth volume. So, so here we have it, our little haul of today. Absolutely fantastic. I will dive into all of these because most of them are either one shot, volume ones, or continuations of story that I already have. So, Absolute Cinema will probably burn through them in two days, but uh, yeah. I should pace myself, but I know I don't have the capability <laughs> to do that. So stay tuned for my reading vlog so I can update you on this. And uh, yeah, that was it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this shopping vlog. Again, it's the second time we went to Leuven, but there were a lot of um, actions going on, like the 3 plus 1 from Akiba as well as the goodie bag from Manga Mania. And uh, yeah, Leuven is um, a really nice place to be as well. So why not, right? Uh, that was uh, a very nice, relaxing day for the both of us. So having some manga to top it off and some free things just is the icing on the cake. So 
here we have it. That was our little shopping trip again. Hope you enjoy these. Next time we will be going to Antwerp. So if you are excited for that, stay tuned for more videos. So like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we are back here again. One week after we did our uh, live and shopping trip with my best friend. So whilst I was in Akiba, you see this time and the last that they had a whole set almost of barefoot gen. 2 to 10, ones that I've been hunting for 2 years <laughs> and I only missed volume 1. I did manage to find a Dutch volume 1 in the meantime a while ago but I still wanted to complete the hardcover school editions from Barefoot Gen. So I only needed volume 1 but in their store in Leuven Volume 1 was the only thing that they were missing as well. But I thought, alright, no is guaranteed if you don't ask. So let's just ask if they may have some in storage or in another shop. So I asked the cashier, do you maybe have Volume 1? And they did. Plastic wrapped even mint condition can you imagine that was the price currently i saw ones go for 100 euro and over which was insanely bonkers i cannot afford that because i read too much <laughs> so i need to be cautious when spending on manga volumes but this one for hardcover is doable of course it's still a lot of money but for hardcover that is actually severely out of print, this is quite nice. So, what did it mean? In another store of them, they had this one volume sitting on the shelves and they had the other volumes in their store in Leuven. They said okay, after they called them, they could ship it over from one store to the other. It would take a few days because they um, do the shipments once a week. And during that shipment, they would give the volume to the carrier with, because it would go from that shop to this shop in their cycle of delivery. So we got them. One week later, it arrived in the shop and live in a gam and they put it aside for me so I could go pick it up. And uh, yeah, here we have it. Our full set of Barefoot Gen hardcovers, the school edition, very much out of print. If you want the volumes, you know, 2 to 10 is available in Akiba, Leuven, Belgium. So there you have it. And if you are interested in those, volume one though, I have snagged that one. So sorry, not sorry. That one is mine now for my complete set. And on that note, that was our shopping trip for this time. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.